Nak buat makeup macam ni ha, Tengok tutorial sampai habis Macam biasa kita kena prep muka Okay Kak D memang suka prep muka baru makeup tak lama Primer is actually not a must But then I always love to use it Because I just love it Spread the foundation all over your face The foundation will help you to cover any types of blemishes or uneven skin tone Blend the foundation with a brush so that you can get more coverage from it But then if you want something that is uh, light coverage, you may use your beauty blender Before you cover up your under eyes, you need to put some corrector So that your under eyes won't look greyish if you still have some blemishes appear after you wear foundation, don't forget to correct them too and then you top it up with some concealer. If you don't have concealer, you may use your foundation. I always love um, something that is the same color as your foundation to cover up your blemishes so that it won't be too obvious. Since the model is going to wear something white, the contouring uh, should not be too intense or else she will look so dark in the picture. Don't forget to blend your contouring with foundation brush that you used earlier. This technique can help you to achieve that seamless looking contouring. Use a cream blush first before you top it up with a powder blush. This way can help your blusher to stay longer on your face. Apply loose powder so that your makeup can stay longer. Apply eyeshadows on your lids. And also don't forget to put some eyeshadow under your eyes. Apply some powder blush on top of the cream blush. Add a little bit of highlighter. Right now I'm creating a wing liner on my model but I'm using an eyeshadow as the color put on some mascara and then it is up to you if you want to wear falsies or not lastly put on some lipstick lip gloss and also makeup spray there you have it thank you guys for watching